Hey guys, how's it going? Zombie here with Xenar Gaming. Today we're looking at Apex Legends, guys, and the Grand Soiree event is still going on strong with our new mode, Live Die Live. Now this new mode, it says automatically respawn on living squad mates when the ring closes. You're down but not out. Now to go ahead and give a little clarification, guys, what this means is a lot of times we run into issues where we might get swarmed, one teammate might get away free does not have time to come get our banners luckily with this new mode all that teammate has to do is survive until the ring closes stops and right before the next ring loads or right when the next ring loads uh, to start the countdown you will actually respawn on your ally now to go ahead and make uh, let you guys know when you spawn sometimes you're going to be in a bad location but you will be getting weapons and you will be getting armor depending on the ring i did drop early one time and i ended up with a p2020 and a level one armor there was a couple other times where i dropped and i ended up with an r301 and a blue armor also i believe it gives you like 40 additional rounds half a stack of ammo when you drop with these weapons so they do drop you guys with with uh, some actual things to use because unfortunately with you dropping people looking around they're going to swarm in on you um of course with this mode you do have to worry about teammates that are a little bit too thirsty you got to go save them now they actually will drop afterwards if they die and you have to leave them be. Unfortunately, this did happen to me and my squad one time, ended up killing me and that person. And soon after we got in again, we were just a big old spotlight for people to come clear us out. But fun mode, uh, it keeps it interesting because now you have to worry about actually going after an elimination. A lot of times you might knock one or two people and when you see that enemy run and you know they're gone, then you're thinking to yourself, no big deal, loot. Now you have to worry about looting quick and chasing them down, or you're going to have to deal with those people potentially all over again. Also, a little side note, whenever you get to the final circle, if you actually knock the person before the, if you knock one of the three people or two of the three people, and again, it's time for them to respawn, they will actually respawn even though they're, te um, even if they're starting to respawn and their teammates are dead. The first victory I had in this mode actually saw to where we cleared out a team of three, but since the first one died, the circle finished closing, then the other two died. The third one, the first one originally who died actually dropped back into the match. Now the three of us were able to easily clear them out of course, but still it does leave that idea of a lingering threat. If you guys actually see any footage out there of someone dropping in after the fact, uh, at the end of the match in that similar situation and winning please share it with me I'll think that is hilarious I want to see the events that lead up to that and I'm really interested to know if that could actually happen to somebody but that's it for the video guys um, normal 3v3 everything works the same all the items are there there's no special weapons or anything else it just everything works the same except for the respawn now that being said one last thing there was no reason to grab uh, anybody's banner I did have one teammate that went out of his way to grab mine even though I was telling him not to because there are currently no respawn points on the map. And also know that if you go into to loot a teammate's uh, box, you will grab their banner first. So be prepared for that time delay. That's it for the video guys. Um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, comment below. I intend to make a uh, video for all the events coming up. Later on, we have the third person mode. We also have always, always be closing where the circle is always going to close. Shoddy Snipes Armed and Dangerous will be making a return. That was a big favorite of a lot of people. Uh, that'd be interesting to see on this map instead of on Kings Canyon again. I don't believe we'll be going back to it. We will be returning Kings Canyon after that though, after dark. So that'll be a real interesting event that we did again last year. And then we have an, the last mode is called Dummies Big Day. We don't really know anything about it yet, but if you guys stay tuned to the channel, as soon as I find out more information about it, I'll definitely share it. Also, guys, I'm working on a Discord right now. It's just getting started, so no, real, no one really there yet, but I'm trying to build a Discord to, um, to show all the games that I play, me, friends. I'm also good with adding games that I don't play because I want to create a community of gamers just somewhere to come no clans no toxic no toxic behavior whatsoever really i just want a bunch of people to be able to come to a location and be able to put parties together groups together to play games together different modes join appreciate it also if you would like and subscribe to the channel i also got um my part one of my partner channels 
random uh, potato gaming also if you'll join them you're going to see a lot of videos between us and they uh both of us are going to the same discord so if you guys could go there really appreciate it i'm really looking at building my channel i really want to get a, a big channel going and i need you guys help to do that so appreciate it guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video